Uh, hey, Dave. Yeah, it looked uh, like you were sort of angry at the team. Uh, we were like seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. What What did you see in the fourth quarter that you weren't very happy with? Uh, I just felt like um, in that moment we weren't focused on our execution. And uh, I just wanted to snap them out of it and get them back focused on what they needed to be doing, uh, whatever our coverages were and, and the play calls that we were calling. Um, you know, overall, I thought the effort was fantastic, but just too many of these close games we've shot, you know, uh, poorly from the free throw line. And that just continues to be a bug for us right now. If it, you know, you can't shoot, miss 14 free throws in a game against a team like that in a close game and expect to win. Coach, after a strong first half, what did you see from the team in the third quarter? I saw them come out swinging and I saw us um, kind of playing not to lose. And, uh, you know, that was something I was uh, obviously riding them about, about getting their heads into being in attack mode and, and getting back to uh, dictating tempo and, and, you know, defensively being more active. Obviously, you know, you're in this game. Um, all night, but with Kevin previously, it had been kind of he made it. He would make a defensive mistake or two, and he's on the short leash. Tonight was it a matchup thing? You didn't no, I just thought, Florida. yeah, flow of the game, and I just felt like we needed uh, Dot and Wayne's speed and, and motor out there. But by no means is Kerry, uh, Kevin buried. He's just you know he's going to have to fight his way out of it, and uh, I got a lot of confidence that he will. With, uh, with 11.1 seconds left there, was Julius trying to miss that free throw intentionally? It looked like he rushed it and you had the bigs on the floor. We were yeah. just trying to get two quick ones and then shoot it out. Basically. Absolutely, yep. You mentioned about these guys trying to finish it out and a team like the Sixers has done it many times. Do you feel like when these guys, are, when losses mount like this, that guys, maybe it gets in their head a little that are we blowing this or... No, I just feel like, you know, at the end of the day, when you got a guy like Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons out there, that's what those guys are, why they make the big bucks. You know, those guys are closers. And uh, I still thought, um, you know, at the end of the day, the free throw line was the biggest, um, probably our biggest problem, is that you just can't miss 14 free throws against a great team like that. Coach, defensively in the first half, you seem to be double teaming and being very active. Not as much in the second half. Any reason? Well, we actually did double our rotations out of the double team. It was crap. Uh, that's why James Ennis got going on the weak side because we're, we didn't have the same attention to detail that we did in the first half. Um, you know, getting making our sharp rotations, getting to their shooters, making them put the ball down. Um, and, uh, you know, credit to James Ennis uh, for making those shots. Uh, Coach, uh, RJ had it going early, and then uh, he kind of gets into foul trouble. How does that throw off what you wanted to do, and then how does that throw off rhythm for a player out there? No, I, th I thought it's, it, it didn't affect his rhythm at all because he came back late and uh, made a, a, a couple of big plays for us. Um, but obviously you never want a guy to get in that early foul trouble, but I thought overall he played an extremely solid basketball game. Is this the is the free throw issue like getting into some of these guys' heads? I mean, how do you fix? That? I'm not sure, but I guarantee you, if you go back to a majority of our close game losses, um, I would say on average we probably shot 68 percent or less in those losses. And uh, you know, our margin for error, we just we just don't have that that luxury to to miss that many free throws in a close game. Are you guys doing anything extra in games practices? It seems like it's been that way most of the year. Brother, I'm about to put Sage in the room. I'm <laughs> <laughs> We've done so much different stuff. Uh, and, and, you know, in the, in the gym, when we're just shooting free throws, you know, working on it, guys make their free throws. Our percentages are up, but just for some reason, uh, when we're getting into the games, we're just not knocking them down at the level that I know we're capable of. And, and again, that we just don't have that margin for error to shoot under 70% in the game, uh, especially in the close games. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, guys.